The U.S. has experienced many forms of the British invasion throughout the years, most recently with the wildly popular and highly addictive Downton Abbey. Today, I had the chance to talk to two of the cast members, Hugh Bonneville and Rob James Collier. Thank you guys for meeting with us today. Uh, Hugh, let me start with you. Can you give us just a brief synopsis of what Downton Abbey is about? Uh, for those who don't know the show, it is uh, set in a large country house in Yorkshire in England. And the story concerns the, the Crawley family and the staff who work for them on the estate. Now, you play the beloved patriarch of the Crawley family. Tell me a little more about your character. Uh, my name is Robert, uh, Robert Crawley, Earl of Grantham, Lord, Lord Grantham. And my sole purpose in life is to maintain Downton to the best of my ability and to pass it on to my heir. Are you really telling me that all the money is gone? Now, we move on to Rob. You play Thomas. You do a very good job at making us hate you. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about your character. Um, Thomas is, um, well, he started out life <clears throat> at Downton Abbey as a footman. Um, he's quite a, he's a highly ambitious character, um, quite duplicitous. Um, and he kind of just, he, he'll do anything he needs to do to get where he's got to go. And he wants to go to the top of the tree, which is, sort of his lordship's valet or a butler and um, over the series we've seen him progressing up the ranks um, and maybe this series he, he will get to where he wants to be. I'm sorry I won't and that's flat. This is very modern up-to-date fast-paced storytelling with 20 plus characters with their stories all intertwined with a mixture of drama comedy and romance but the setting has got this kind of lush uh, uh, cinematic production value and I think Combining those two things together has been part of the winning formula. Yes, are, you, are you really that tall? Yes, my lady. Thought you might have been walking on stilts. I think it's love in Downton Abbey that uh, has really attracted a younger audience. There are lots of other reasons. It's beautifully written. It's a primetime soap opera. It's set in this spectacular Highclere Castle, the frocks. But uh, there are a lot of love affairs going on in the story. Will Mary and Matthew get married? Oh. Will Edith ever find love? Oh. And then there's <laughs> Mrs. Hughes and Mr. Carson downstairs. So I think Julian fell uh, I think you might have just been revealing something I'm, a little bit. I'm there. just saying. Who are the bridesmaids? You don't care about all that. You're wrong. It's the stuff of my dreams. He holds a secret, Thomas, and that's his sexuality. He's homosexual, which in, in them days was illegal. So he leaves a, a, a double life. He's almost like a double agent. No one knows about it apart from him. And, 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 you know, that's a big sort of cross to bear and a big secret to bear. And it must, it must wear you down playing somebody you're not. And you, you've no way of expressing it and, and, and getting true companionship. So that's my excuse for why he's so evil. The first season of Downton in the UK, which was in the fall of 2010, that was a huge uh, phenomenon uh, and then of course it was repeated in January 2011 when the first season came to Masterpiece on PBS and again started breaking records and we began to see that as we rolled the show out around the world that it was going to have an impact in almost every country that it's been to. We think there's more than 120 million people worldwide are watching the show. And there are so many different theories and so many different elements that make it a, a show that's uh crossed so many demographics and, and, and boundaries of uh, usual television viewing, but I think it must be a combination of fine writing. And also, I think you, you feel you're watching a costume drama, the genre which we feel we know, but of course, in this one, no one knows the ending. Only one person knows the ending, and that's the writer, Julian Fellows. Well, season three, um, I can definitely reveal Thomas, he gets, first of all, he gets a lot more evil, because him and O'Brien, <laughs> who are normally allies, turn on each other, so they're at war. So the evilometer at Downton Abbey goes through the roof. We've had tens of millions of young people who are discovering this sort of genre for the first time and loving it, that's got to be a good thing for the future health of, of what we do. Oh dear, I'm afraid the war has made old women of us both. Oh, I wouldn't say that, but then I always keep out of the sun.